But yeah, Glyphic Canyon. Not a bad stage in my opinion. We've seen this cutscene already because it plays every single damn time after the second mission. Every single damn time. Doesn't even matter. Every time. Every time. Prison Island. Uh. Now, I keep thinking to myself, you know, this game's okay. The level design is iffy, I guess. But it's okay. And then stages like Prison Island come up and I remember, like, why it is. That some of these stages exist. Or why should some of these stages... Uh, the, the, I give up. I'm just not going to say it. Also, this stage has probably the most annoying party or ally member. Charmy the Bee. Which means I'm just going to do that. Now, the thing is, the goal ring isn't necessarily at the end of the stage a lot of the time. Which, this is one of those examples where, along with Westopolis, for example, where the goal ring is actually not at the end, but fairly close to it. Seem to go that high. Uh huh. Just gonna come over here for a second. No big, no big deal. So yeah, the hero mission on this stage is to collect a bunch of discs for Charmy, a or Vector or whatever, whichever one you want to think is the one you're actually getting the discs for. And then what do you do? Is no, don't. Why would you target him when he's all the way over there? Come on. Of course, I'm not killing all the aliens to get chaos control because actually, actually, it's sometimes faster just to not kill all the aliens to get chaos control. I mean, chaos control is beautiful at some points for things like you know skipping over large portions of the track where you can't actually you know get down. And this stage has actually actually has a lot of that, but it's not like it's really like that necessary. Which it, honestly, good as it isn't. And stop doing that. That's one, that's one thing about the homing attack. You know, you want to go forward, but it just targets something behind you. Derp -a derp, -a derp, -a derp. Damn it! I didn't even touch that flame game. If I need to get through a gap or take out enemies, I can slide by pressing the. Yes, I have to go. Yeah, who, need, who needs to kill things to get up there? I'll just grab onto a horizontal bar. Ah, that was close. A little too close. Flippity dippity, doobada da da. Excuse me while I take your freaking uh, other craft. And I'm just gonna slide along the pathway we feed because the stage is all about going fast. You know, thinking about it now, I could probably fit two to three of these in an episode, depending on how fast I go through a stage. And how many cutscenes I skip and whatnot. And there's one of the discs, but I don't care because we're not doing that. Haha, <laughs> whoa. Well, Uh, why did you mean you didn't grind? Thank goodness that you did that, but you can grind on those with the hovercraft. I've seen it before. Game, don't don't you lie to me, game. I don't think I need the hovercraft anymore. Yep, there's a gold ring right there. So there you go. It's that simple of the stage. There it is, the chaos emerald. And that's it. The stage is done. I don't know what to say, but the stage is done. I found it, the fourth emerald. Don't you just love it? He's just getting emeralds left and right and left and right. Another A rank? Yeah, that, that's what it is. Easy as crap to get A ranks in this game. Those idiots! They're destroying everything! How can I take over the city and build the Eggman Empire if there is no city? I'm at my limit. I have no choice. Send in the Eggman fleet. Charge! Can I just say that Eggman's voice actor, which is actually... Which is actually still his voice actor, even though the majority of the four kids cast didn't actually continue to voice them now. He's actually great. I love him as Dr. Eggman. I bet no one expected this baby could fly. I transported this brilliant flying fortress to this planet over 2,000 years ago. It's magnificent. The perfect killing machine. Ready to oppose terror in unimaginable ways. <laughs> Do these fools really believe they can stop me? 
Isn't that the doctor? Shadow, do not fear. Now that's the thing, though. Like Black Doom is acting like Shadow didn't do anything at that point, even though he deliberately disobeyed him, like, at least twice. Three times now, actually. So it's like, what the hell? Why would you do that? Why would you program... Why, why would you do that? It's acting like he doesn't give a shit. In this blue sky, staring at it from afar. Have I seen it before? But yeah, welcome to my favorite stage of the game. I honestly have to say that this is actually probably my favorite stage of the game. No matter what mission I'm doing, I relatively enjoy doing this stage a lot. Now, the, here, the dark side mission is just to blow up Eggman's ships, and you can blow up his flagship. Of course, the Nojo mission just gets to the goal ring, which is actually Eggman's flagship, and the hero mission, which is actually done by Dr. Eggman this time. As I said, Dr. Eggman is more of an anti-hero in this game more than anything. Instead of being, like, the main villain, as usual, eh, I have to kill things, don't I? Yeah, I do. Of course, I have to do that. I honestly really like this stage. Like, on every stage in this game, this is probably my favorite. Westopolis is still good despite having to play it so many goddamn times, but this stage, I love it actually. A little too much for my own good. I mean, I understand. I keep saying this. I keep saying things that are bad about this game, but th this game does have its merits, and this is one of those stages. But yeah, as I was saying before, the voice actor for Dr. Eggman, I just love him. He's way better than the Eggman slash Robotnik from 4, specifically in the Sonic Adventure games and whatnot. He's just way better. Way, way, way better. I don't care what anyone says. Dr. Eggman's voice actor in those games was just freaking horrible. It was just... How do you get somebody to voice something like that? That was just bad. This Eggman is just way better, and honestly, if he continues to voice Eggman, period, I'll be happy, because he's got a great voice for Eggman. That's the point of me saying. Like, it just works for him. I don't think the other Dr. Eggman voice in the adventure games worked at all, even close to it, honestly. Now, each one of them has their own, like, issues, I guess, with some of the things they say. But then again, that's just them doing game voiceovers, I guess. Like, I don't know. When you hear the whole, let's get to work thing in the last story of Sonic Adventure 2, that was just like, okay, uh, okay. But yeah, out of the, out of the group of voice actors, probably the fact that, that, I still don't remember his name, I'm trying to remember it, but I don't know it. I had it at some point, but I don't remember it anymore. Try going down. No, we're going up, because that's the faster route, dummy. Herp derp. I'm trying to remember his name, but I don't. But all I know is that out of the four kids group of voice actors, he was probably the best thing to come out of it, honestly. Maybe I like Shadow's voice actor. Maybe I think Dan Green can voice anybody, and I'll still be happy with it. But, like, he was... Honest to goodness, his Eggman is the best thing, and I'm still glad he's, he's still doing the voice for Eggman to this day. And I don't care if I missed one, Eggman. Firearms won't be any good against those all right, now we can move on to this thing. So yeah, remember Glyphic Canyon? Yeah, that temple we uh, decided to rise up in the air is actually this is actually a flying thing. So there you go. Here's your random factoid to today. So you kill this bird, and then you can actually tame him and ride him. Just hold the A button and don't hit anything. Yeah, thanks for that, Eggman. I don't care because I'm a godlike player of this game, which I haven't actually touched anything besides the A button right now. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there's Dr. Eggman's flagship, and now we can complete the game. I just flew over the edge. <laughs> uh.
Wouldn't it be hilarious? You're not getting away from me this time, Doctor. Wouldn't it be hilarious if, like, you got through the goal ring, jumped over the edge, and the fact that the goal that it takes so long for the white screen to go completely white, wouldn't it be hilarious if you died and the game glitched out? That would be hilarious. Honest to goodness, I would laugh like crazy at that. Uh, but now we're on to stage number five in this Scotty Go Fast spree. Iron Jungle. Uh, did I skip the intro to uh, Prison Island? I think I did. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, but don't worry, this is not the same cutscene as before, despite him doing the exact same thing at the beginning. Huh? What the? How can this be? Who are you? Listen up, Shadow Androids. The Eggman fleet is strong, but those black creatures are a formidable adversary. I must return to the base to devise a new plan. Shadow? Android? Am I an android too? Well, he has a... <laughs> I need to get back to my base and restore order. Help me get away from these pesky guns who are on my bed. Are you the original? If you are searching for that man, he's fleeing aboard his airship, the balloon. If you wish to confront him, then help me ground his vessel. You don't need to do that, honestly. So yeah, Dr. He Dr. Eggman is the evil one in this stage, and Omega is the hero one. That's how it goes. So yeah, we're just going to the neutral thing. But we're just we're just going to do that. We're just going to the goal ring. It doesn't even matter. Do I do I do I really have to kill you bastards just to get you to open? Ah. Uh. Now I have run into a glitch on I believe it's this stage where I've actually just glitched it out to the point where I'm literally falling forever. Oh god, come on Shadow Android, stop being like that. Oh god. You know what, just, just screw it, I'm just gonna go. I don't need you. I don't need you. So yeah, not a big fan of this stage. I think you can honest to goodness go to hell. Really? His, 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 his... Oh my goodness, what is happening? You stop firing things. You stop firing things. Everyone stop firing things. So I can get out of here and just keep going. Why does everyone have bazookas too? Like, these bazookas are the worst weapons in the game. Excuse me while I take the upper route because I feel like it. <laughs> I think it was this stage, honestly. I don't remember. No, Omega. You. I mean, for heaven's sakes. You have, like, this amazing blast ability, for Christ's sake, Omega, and you're just gonna sit there and do nothing, as you normally do? Ah, oh, for heaven's sake. Bazookas are so useless, but the enemies aim. I'm just gonna get to this for a second. No, I'm just gonna use Chaos Control. Oh, this is nice. That's a nice skip right there. I don't care, Omega. Why am I even? Why am I even doing this? There's the gold ring right up ahead. This is the last opportunity you have to hit the egg balloon. But other than that, the gold ring is right up there. Again, these stages don't take very long if all you're doing is just going to the gold ring. So. But of course, you get one of the stupidest endings because of this. Now, Doctor, you will tell me everything. Ugh. No, the Doctor will not tell you everything. The Doctor is not in, son. And now you get another boss fight, actually, after this. You get to fight the Egg Breaker. 